Just found a really neat one I wanted to share with everybody. It's a summer to winter edible. Hyzozygous almanus. Typically it grows on elm. Hyzozygous I think means high or tall or something like that. And almanus comes from the word almus, which is Latin for elm. Or the Latin name of elm, sorry about that. Anyway, we call this the elm oyster, and this is growing on a box elder, which makes it unique because this is the first time I've personally seen it growing from something aside from elm. However, I've seen pictures of it on willow, and I've seen pictures on it on box elder. This mushroom really isn't an oyster, and it has a checklist of identifying features it's a very voluptuous mushroom on an oyster the gills would be decurrent down this stalk and these are not the elm oyster grows on living or dead wood it usually grows high and it usually grows singly like this one and when you're really lucky you find it growing in a clump of two or three and I've seen photos where people have found them growing in four and five. I've seen it bloom at the end of August and I've seen it bloom all the way into December and it's a tasty mushroom that requires kind of a unique way of cooking it because if you overcook it it certainly turns bitter. So I slice these really thin not deli meat thin, but almost. And then cook it really lightly on low heat, butter, pink salt, and it's a delicious mushroom. Now, the odor sometimes is off-putting to people, but this is definitely a worthy mushroom. Not an oyster, called the elm oyster. Delicious, worth looking for, high up in the wood on living and dead trees alike. Let's go find something else. Hi guys, I just showed you the elm oyster, which technically isn't an oyster. And this is the late fall oyster, which technically isn't an oyster. This is Pinellus serotinus. And you can find these clear into the winter. I'm going to cut a big one here. Most of the time they don't have a stalk. They can be dark in color. On top, the spore print will be lilac. That's an important feature. The odor is usually pleasant in my mind, or that's my personal opinion. And when you prepare these, I usually fry them up in a skillet with no butter no oil, nothing. I just put it on low heat and I try to cook a lot of the moisture out and the flavor is definitely more than reasonable. It's not a real oyster, so don't expect it to taste like our classic oysters, but still a delicious mushroom. It's still worthy of finding. It can be brown on top or it can be frost bit and which changes its color and it can have this kind of velvety green hue to it. Personally, I think the mushroom is absolutely beautiful. I always have. Late fall oyster, you can find them after the killing frost. You can find them during warm spells in the winter. It's a good winter, winter harvestable mushroom.
Hi guys, David Michael here. Got my granddaughter Adeline with me. She's helping me mushroom hunt. We found a lion's mane that's too high in a tree for me to reach. I should have brought a painter's pole, but then people look at you funny when they see you walking in the woods with a painter's pole that's 20 foot long. <laughs> anyway, we found brown jelly fungus. It's not a very big bloom, but this is an edible mushroom that you can add to soups. It's got a re really mild flavor. And the neat thing about this mushroom is you can pick it off of branches and wood that's kind of laying off the forest floor or on dead logs like this or debris. If it's dehydrated, you can take it home and put it in a bowl of salt water and it will rehydrate. This stuff rehydrates really well. It goes good in stir fries. It can be a little rubbery when you rehydrate it. It goes good in soups. I like to add it to soups. Brown jelly fungus. Definitely a worthy winter staple. Safe and happy foraging, everyone. <laughs>